up guys? I wanted to do a video so that you can meditate with me and just understand that we're all going to have our own individual experiences when we meditate. And I've been practicing for some time now, uh, well over two years, recently two years in terms of taking it serious and applying all that I've learned through my practice uh, to understanding it. <laughs> uh, there's a lot of uh, a lot of things that I had questions for and the answers came to me on their own, so to speak. And I only want to help become a part of the, uh, the experience for others to learn how to experience their practice in a more uh, I don't want to say proficient, but effective manner, so to speak. Uh, not that I'm better than anything or anyone. My techniques aren't mine. Uh, just I feel like like any any other art out there, there's always something different depending on the person. So with that being said, if you would like to meditate with me, you can have a seat. If you're not. If you don't have anywhere to sit, then I recommend you listening to this later, slash watching this later, and try it when you are able to give me, or give yourself, that is, 10 minutes, so that you can sit with me in silence. Alright? So, have a seat in any comfortable way that you can. My suggestion, or my preference is, I have two foldable mats. I have one for my back because uh, it's flat, and I have one below me. Uh, and there's no it's cushioning, it's comfortable, but it's, and it's not too comfortable. If that makes sense, right? So eyes closed, if you prefer. It's easier this way. Some people may have a different experience with that. Focus on your breathing. So you would inhale through your nose and exhale through your mouth. A little practice uh, that I used to do that I feel no need to do it now, but a little tip for those of you that get lost in your thoughts is to breathe out with your mouth and exhale so that you can hear it. So there's no preference to how you exhale, but as long as you hear it, you hear that wind coming out or the sound of it, that is something to pay attention to. It helps you focus your attention on that breathing. Another good tip is to count your breathing as you inhale, one, as you exhale, two. Inhale, three. Exhale, four. You can count up to ten and reset back to one if you want. Depends on how you can keep your focus on your breathing. If you feel like it's difficult to focus on your breathing, understand that that's okay. <laughs> it's a part of the process of learning to focus on your breathing. You 
Now, if you hear anything in the background, including what's going on in my background, understand that that is you being present. Everything that is happening has happened. Everything that is happening presently is present. There is no perfect way to meditate. You don't need perfect silence. You don't need perfect feeling. Perfection is not something that brings you what meditation can do for you. Learning to let go of perfection, however, is something that binds you with what meditation can offer. A helpful tip for those of you who are lost in thought is to look at those thoughts as clouds. I've heard this many times in different meditation practices. Thoughts will come and there we go. Clouds will come and there we go. Understand that you don't have to push the cloud. You don't have to push the thoughts. You accept it for what it is and learn to let go of them. For this practice, we're going to continue to focus on our breathing and learn to breathe. And as soon as we pay attention to paying attention to thoughts or the cloud, we practice the practice of letting go. Focus on your breathing. For me, I notice when I start to see visuals, I start to heal, hear the background, I start to sense things around my body, I start to feel the cat rubbing on my knees, because he, he's trying to get attention, of course. I accept all that is here, and I'm aware that my daughter is approaching. For you, whatever goes on in your way, as long as you're able to focus back in your breathing, that is the practice. When you hear it differently, some people say gently let go of the thoughts. And that just means not to force yourself to do anything, really. If the thought stays there, you understand why it stays there. Like, what is that thought? And watch how it disintegrates or moves on by itself without you trying to push it away. I'm opening my eyes now. You can keep yours closed if you want. The eye open practice is to explore what consciousness is doing for you. 
you're not creating any of this that you see. You're not creating anything that you feel. You're not creating anything that you hear. It's all just happening. And this is very similar to what thoughts are. All right. That's pretty much it. Thank you for sitting with me today. If you want to learn more about meditation and what it can do for you, there's so many great publications, whatever, research papers. There's so, so much research behind it, science. I have been doing it, again, seriously, for two years recently. One, one year on the Headspace app, and that's how I learned the thoughts uh, as clouds and I learned a different kind of practice there and then I moved on to waking up from Sam Harris's app and I've explored way more with that and now I'm just trying to apply all that I'm learning by myself so that I can put out there what is beneficial for others as much as it's beneficial for me. And I hope that you value life and value your time.